This next segment is rapid fire. Okay. It's a rapid fire segment. I've been told. Yep. A couple of different times. That means this podcast is going too long. It's Hurry the <laughs> freak up. That's right. <laughs> and it's called Make Me Feel Better About My Team. Okay. I'm Don't ask me about the Dolphins because there's nothing I can say to make you feel better. Okay. There's, let's ask that right Not now. Not one thing. Not one damn thing. You're screwed. Think hard. You're, you're screwed. Think hard. Maybe play, start Josh Rosen? I don't know. <laughs> okay. that's, that's on, on the positive Was that side. one of them? That was going to be of one of them? Of course it was. Of course it uh, was. I had a few friends of mine text me with the dot, like, make me feel better on Monday yeah. morning. And yeah. I was like, there's nothing. You're Talking screwed. Up the list. Yeah, yeah. No. See you next year. <laughs> Justin Herbert. <laughs> All right, Bears. Um, okay, Bears. This is how I'll make you feel comfortable. The, de- the team is still really talented. And let's not forget, the defense is real. It was 10 yep. points, okay, yeah. that Green Bay scored. That Packers defense is going to be a top 10 defense in football, if not a top five. Not better, yeah. It's super talented. It's really well coached. And your team, your offense didn't play in the preseason. And I just don't care who you are. If you're Peyton Manning, Bart Starr, Joe Namath, if you don't play in the preseason, right. you're not going to come out hitting on all cylinders. So that's what I would say to Bears fans. Things will get right on the offensive side of the ball. My one issue with the Bears is, though, like we talked about today, they need to find something that – what are we hanging our hat on? What's the identity of that? Offensively. They do everything good and they do yeah. everything under the sun on the offense, but there's not one thing I go, ooh, they yeah. do this really good. And if a defense doesn't stop that, they're screwed. They don't have that one thing, and I think they need to find that, that little identity. Looking forward to talking more about the Bears later. I got a lot yeah. of questions after watching. Yeah, that definitely. One. It was we'll ugly. Do, do it down the road. Yep. Buccaneers. Buccaneers. <sighs> well, and we get to see him soon. We do. We're going to see him tomorrow night. Yeah. Thursday night football. Yeah. Denver's Cam Newton. I'm filibustering. Defense, no, think. it's okay. Defense is encouraging. Yeah. Okay. They got some young talent in the second half. Vernon Hargraves look good. Okay. Okay. Their defensive front is a pretty stout group. I mean, hey, I think a lot of like the 49ers offensive line and their yeah. run game, they had a hard time running the ball. Okay. It wasn't easy. And. It Jameis? can't get any worse for Jameis, okay? I was waiting for you to I mean, include him in the positive. I root for Jameis. I root for the Bucks. Come yeah. on, they drafted me. They're, they're a special team to me still. I, I really do. And I just was heartbroken by some of that. I just I couldn't believe Jameis made some of those decisions yeah. in that game. I just was absolutely shocked. Jets. Okay, Jets. You played one of the best defenses in football and one of the guest, best game planners in all of football. And just how we talk with, like, Andy Reid, first game of the year off our bye week, man, Sean McDermott would be one of those defensive coaches where I'd be like, I don't want to play him week one because he is going to be all over you from that aspect. So that's one thing to look at. That, that, hey, let's, that, that, the Buffalo defense was top three in football last year. They were special. So offense will continue to look better. There is that. And come on, Greg Williams and that defense caused chaos all game long. I mean, the offense should have put the game away a long time before that. And I know, you know, yeah, they came back and made some plays, but created four turnovers and, you know, scored eight points. So there's a lot of things to like about the defensive performance of the New York Jets. They are the leaders in the clubhouse for making me feel better about my team. Good. We'll we'll see if you can stop the Jets. Gotcha. Broncos. Okay. Broncos, my, my big thing here would be you know, the pass offense was, was underwhelming in the game. Uh, I got to think there's a little more creativity. I, get to, I didn't get to watch this film, so it's hard to tell what the hell is going on on the yeah. defensive side of the ball. I'll say this much. I don't know where the pass offense goes, mm-hmm. okay? I know I like Cortland, Cortland Sutton a lot. I know the offensive line play will get better. Why, you might say? Not because of the offensive lineman himself, because of Mike Menchek. One of the best offensive linemen I've ever been around as far as coaching goes. He will get them right. And then it's still early in that Vic Fangio defense, too. You know, John Gruden, they had a proper game plan. They stayed patient with the run. They threw a lot of quick footballs. Really got the biggest pass play of the game off a third and one where they faked a run. He threw a bomb down the middle. Mm -hmm. Um, So, uh, again, I think this is a team still kind of getting their feet underneath them right now uh, as far as the Denver Broncos are concerned. That was moderately. Moderately pretty good. Yeah, okay. Falcons. Falcons are still a lot of talent on that team. That's what I would like to say. And going into Minnesota – and playing a guy like Mike Zimmer week one is not easy. Now, you heard me. I got the questions about the offensive line, pass protecting. Right. That's going to be an issue. But Matt and the, Ryan. And the running back. Well, and the running back. Too, yeah. I do. Whether he can capitalize on some of the holes that are there to be had. But 
I can promise you Matt Ryan won't throw – the the dumb interceptions he threw right. on a consistent basis as the season goes on. I mean, he's going to make plays. They still got Calvin Ridley and Julio Jones and Mohamed Sanu. So that's dangerous from the pass game standpoint. And, you know, their defense didn't even really get to play to their strength. You know, their defense is used to, okay, we're in an even game or we're winning because of Matt Ryan, and now we can use our speed and rush the passer and fly all around the field because you have to throw it a little more than you would like because our offense is high flying. That game never got off the ground to where they were like, oh, gosh, we got to stop the run game from, like, square one. And right. that's the only thing they got to worry about. So there's still a lot of talent in that Falcons team for me to give up on them yet. Last one. Yeah. Jaguars. Jaguars. I'm going to talk you off the ledge. This defense is still as talented as there is in football. The only thing I'm pissed off about with the Jaguars is like what my dad said, that they lost their cool yeah. like that, like Miles Jack. I'm just disappointed in him because he's, mm -hmm. he's really one of my favorite players to watch in football. He's phenomenal middle linebacker. And, uh, but they're still, again, they went against Andy Reid, the ultimate game planner, the ultimate week one. I mean, let's not forget, he shit all over New England and Bill Belichick two years ago in opening week two. He shit all over the Chargers to start last season in week one, too. And... This is not your, okay, so now you have a guy that's great schematics, but out of this world talent to go along with the schematics with Mahomes, Watkins, Kelly, you know, Tyree Kill, all that good offensive line. They're not going to see an offense better than that this year for the rest of the way. And Gardner Minshew mm, looked right? good. I know. He looked good. I know. They can, a pleasant surprise. He, he's not Nick Foles, but I think they have enough help around him you know, as long as they're not playing the Kansas City Chiefs again this week, that mm -hmm. they can stay close with any team. If they kind of play through their run game, their defense gets back on track. I'm not giving up on Jacksonville. I thought I was. And then I watched the film, and I went, okay, this kid's going to be He's okay. Right. He's yeah. going to be okay. I would not be shocked. I haven't picked it yet, but I would not be shocked if they went into Houston and beat them this week. I've, I've added one. So yeah. maybe I lied a little bit. Somebody's in your more. ear. Somebody, yeah, or, or, or that. Somebody, some homer in the control Fo room. Following so tell us me about my team. Make me feel good about my team if my team is the Browns. Okay. Um, the Browns, Baker Mayfield, is a, that was about as poor as I've ever seen him throw the football. Yeah. That won't happen again. Uh, another team that got shotgun happy mm. along with the Buffalo Bills. I didn't get to talk about that. They're, they're another team. I mean, they just were like, well, we, we – we let go of uh, LaShawn McCoy. We're not going to run the ball anymore. Right. Like, I mean, that's what it looked like. I was like, damn. I mean, all we talked about was Josh Allen growing as a player. We're going to put the whole organization in his hands, yeah. the whole game, shotgun, call every play. But back to my point, the Browns, still a ton of talent, okay? Still, I don't think Baker Mayfield will ever play that bad again as far as just missing throws and some of the dumb decisions. They played a team that's New England-ish in their approach on defense. They built their secondary and then went down from there, like Dad said. I yeah. mean, it's Logan Ryan, it's Malcolm Butler, it's a Dory Jackson. It's, those are, you know, second-round pick, two first-round picks, or, or, you know, a free agent who's awesome, who's a, a big-time free agent. You know, Kevin Bayard in the back end. He's one of the best safeties in football. And then you got Dean Pease and Mike Vrabel that run, run Baltimore, New England coverages. Right. That'll be about as hard to pass defense as they'll see all year long. And don't forget, Cleveland, it was 15-13. to 13. With three minutes left in the third quarter, you said it already. That game was misleading. Right. It was a little closer than that. The wheels fell off because Baker just kind of lost way, lost his way for really one of the first times we've ever seen in his career at the start of that fourth quarter and threw three straight interceptions, and that's just how that's it became it. a blowout. Right. right. Which one would you like the best for your uh, – I know you. What did you want? You say was it the leader in the clubhouse so far? The Bears or? I think it was the Jets right away. Oh yeah, the Jets, Jets. right away. I put them at one. In terms of make me feel good about my team who lost, yep. I'll put the Browns at two because, I mean, your lead statement, that's the worst their quarterback is going to play all year. Yeah, that's, right. That's a great place to right. start if you're trying to feel good about a team that yeah. lost. Yeah, don't get pass happy. They can, yeah. run, they can run block there, too, and Nick Chubb is good. You know, right? Right. He's well, really good. See if any of these teams listen to you and, and get underneath the center. I'm going to we'll keep see. an eye on this. One. I usually, I usually, I usually hear at some point during the year. The, the worst part about my job, and at least I have some people here at NBC who will vouch for me. Yeah. Because I do have coaches that come up to me every now and then go, "I heard what you said about our team. And this is not for print. Yeah. But or this is between us. Yeah. But I heard what you said. And you were right. And right. when I heard you say that, I changed or I thought about it and. I've had uh, my man Matt Casey in the back who's heard a few coaches come up to me and say that. So yeah. I can never share it. Of course not. But it's some of the greatest moments of my professional career when yeah, I do hear that. Right? You know, Feels good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, damn, somebody's Absolutely. listening to me and they admitted I was right. And they and, respect your opinion. Yeah, so that's, that's always good to hear. 
Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.